guys, so today we'll be taking a tour around Belfast on the city side seeing Belfast hop on and hop off tour bus. The first tour bus leaves at 10am so make sure to arrive around 9.45 so that you can get your ticket and get a good seat on the bus. The staff give us tickets to hold on to and also a map that showcases the route that the bus goes in and also all the stops and the tourist attractions nearby. Now let's get on with our journey. The best part about the tour is that the tour guide actually mentioned some history about certain places that we pass by along the bus route. For example, I passed by this building many times but I did not know that this was the old city hall of Belfast. Next, we passed the Salmon of Knowledge at Donegal Quay. We then moved on our journey to the Titanic Quarter Belfast and first passed by the SSE Arena which is also home to the Belfast Giants which is a famous ice hockey team in Belfast. Following that, we then passed by the SS Nomadic which is a former tender of the White Star Line and was built to transfer passengers and mail to and from the famous ships RMS Titanic and RMS Olympic. And now we have a wider view of the Titanic Museum which is located at Titanic Quarter as well. Just behind the Titanic Museum, we can see the Titanic Studios which is a famous film production studio. We decided to get down in one of the stops here to get a closer look of the Titanic Museum. Right now, we are here at Titanic Belfast, which is the world's largest attraction and museum dedicated to the Titanic. As you all know, the RMS Titanic is the most famous ship ever built and is closely connected to Belfast as it was designed and built here by the shipbuilding company Harden & Wolf. Right behind the Titanic Museum, you can see the Titanic slipway where the ship was built. Just by standing in the slipway, it allows you to imagine just how massive the size of the Titanic was actually in real life. You see behind me is the Titanic Studios where many films were produced. One of the more notable TV series produced here was Game of Thrones. If you walk further along the Titanic Quarter, you will eventually see the great light and also a glass panel which is dedicated to the Game of Thrones series. There are about six of those around the area which you can try finding by yourself. Just a little further along, you'll find the HMS Caroline which is a first World War era warship and now has been restored into a floating museum. Also, to all those Game of Thrones enthusiasts out there, nearby the Titanic Studios, you can see the remains of the set of King's Landing which was built specifically to shoot some parts of the show. We then ended up back in Cathedral Quarter to go have some lunch at Common Market. Common Market is a street food market which is comprised of one of the most tastiest street food vendors around Belfast. The place only opens from 12pm so make sure you come at the right time if you want to have lunch here. They have many food stalls available, so we decided to try the Polish smoked sausage hot dog and also the Filipino fusion fried chicken. It's a great place to eat, drink and hang out with your friends as the place is suitable for a big group of people as they have a lot of long bench-like tables. Each shops give you a buzzer so you can sit down and relax while you wait for the buzzer to ring for you to go and collect your food. Here is the food that we ordered, it looked so delicious and we were really eager to try it. The food definitely exceeded my expectations and tasted really good. We then decided to take a little stroll along the cathedral quarter and see the sights around the area. A little further and you'll find a passageway that has colourful light installations of rainbow coloured umbrellas. The place has mini bars nearby and it looks exceptionally beautiful when it lights up at night. The tour bus also drives through the west of Belfast around Shankill Road and the Falls Road. We also passed by the Peace Walls and a lot of significant murals around the area which the tour guide pointed out to us during our journey. It was really interesting to know the history of Belfast and also all the things that had happened in the past. We then went back to the city and got down at a stop near Queen's. We decided to walk around the area and also pass by the Ulster Museum which is a free museum that is home to many art, history and natural science collections. Right now, we bumped into a bunch of friends and decided to go have some dessert at New Gelato which is a dessert shop located just 7 minutes away from Queen's University Belfast. They have many ice cream flavours and also many toppings you can choose from to put on top of your dessert. We got ourselves their famous nookie pot and some waffles which were really delicious. We then decided to go back to City Hall and visit the Titanic Memorial Garden where they have a monument bearing the names of those who died on the Titanic. That's the end of our tour for today. I'm glad we managed to cover a lot of places and eat a lot of good food. I hope this video managed to show you the beauty of Belfast and all the many places you can visit during your time here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!